The two members of parliament in Cape Coast North and Cape Coast South constituencies under the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly say they have been compelled to address the news conference because of the imminent danger relative to the confirmation of the president nominee for Cape Coast, Ernest Arthur. They say the assembly members, having rejected the president nominee twice, speaks volumes and it represents one thing, that the nominee is not fit for purpose. They warn that should the president and his assigns force anybody on the people of Cape Coast, he should be prepared to bear the consequences of his acts. And the people of Cape Coast have rejected an starter. I would like to advise these responsible individuals to stop the immediate to stop with immediate effect the meddling in Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly elections. They have no business here in Cape Coast. The following people are the Transport Minister, Mr. Kweku Ofori Esiama, who has been meddling in the Assembly elections. The Regional Minister, Honorable Mary Gould Assam. Any blood, and I mean any blood, that is spilled here in Cape Coast as a result of this confirmation process will not be on my hands. It wouldn't be on the hands of Honorable Mintanya Akun. It will not be on the hands of the decent assemblymen. It will not, it will only be on the hands of the president and the hands of the perpetrators who have come to Cape Coast to ensure that they forced Honorable Enesata under our throats. They want the Interior Minister to investigate the invasion of invisible forces in Cape Coast to intimidate and harass the Assembly members prior to the voting. The Assembly members would like to humbly ask the police commander to, investi to investigate a, a, a speculation that MPP's invisible forces and land guards have arrived here in Cape Coast on Saturday the 9th of October to intimidate the assembly members and the people of Cape Coast who in their interest will gather to observe the confirmation process and brutalize them if necessary. They have no reason to doubt that the MCU nominee is capable of doing that because he demonstrated that during the 2020 election when he was a parliamentary candidate and a certain MCE. It has been alleged that some of the personalities that I mentioned who are involved in the so-called Operation Force and Estata on Cape Coast are in Bajaya Hotel or Lodge Day calling assembly members one by one, inducing them with monies, motorbikes, and contracts to vote yes for Ernest Atta. Some are being intimidated. Some are made to swear. And all manner of fear put in them in just an assembly election. They further indicate they doubt the president has renominated Ernest Arthur and challenge them to use the right procedure in communicating so. The assembly members have received no sermons or no notifications to whether the elections will come on or not. The assembly members are appealing through us to demand sermons from the authorities when these elections will be held. Number two, information reaching them suggests that there had not been any communique in the form of a wireless message between the presidency, local government minister, and the assembly on the renomination for the third time of Mr. Ernest Atta by the president. The assembly members would therefore like to demand a proof they end by inviting the ancestors to be with them as the battle ahead represent the democratic soul of the people of Cape Coast. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejonyakon, Cape Coast.